The Chandoks from Chennai eat, breathe, and sleep only one thing motor racing. No question though, the man of the moment is Karun Chandok. With a grandfather and father who've been avid racers, Karun Chandok's destiny then was pretty much written beforehand. But India's only second Formula One driver started really early. The first words were car and uh, it went on for quite a while and then we had to tell him, look, we are parents, okay? I'm called dad, she's called mum, or I'm called pa and he's, she's called ma. But taking the big leap was a challenge in more ways than one. The one thing is there, when he said he wants to be a racing driver, I said, okay, two conditions. A, you lose weight. You can't be at 95 kilos and getting a racing car. Secondly, do well in your exams. He did both. I mean, when we used to fight earlier, he used to sit on me and then I used to go blue, which wasn't fun. But, uh, I mean, after, uh, after a while, I think just seeing him drop that weight, it became sort of a, I mean, you take it as inspirational. Thus began Karun's journey into the fast, glamorous and relatively unknown world of Formula One. I remember going to the first day at my team, Formula 3 team, T-Sport. And I said, oh, you're the new guy, go make, you know, you should go make the tea. So, okay, I had the kettle and I lined up six cups. I thought, well, tea bags need to go in the cup. So I put them. And then I just sort of stood there like that, thinking, I have no idea what <laughs> and he made heads turn with his steady progress on the GP2 circuit, eventually landing up with a chance to test drive for an F1 team last year. One season on, he has a new team and a new role indeed, almost that of a brand ambassador for India when it hosts its first ever Formula 1 race. Racing is in his genes and as unbelievable as this may sound, it is true that his first words weren't ma or mum, it was car. This is true. Uh, Karun Chandok, welcome to um, NDTV and Nirmal Lifestyles Marks for Sports campaign. This is our School Connect and we're at your school, yep. Shishya School. Thank you so much for joining us. Ah, I'm very happy to be here and uh, lots of happy memories from here as well. Uh, Karun, we'll start a little from the beginning and uh, you know, you were, you were what, 17 when you, when you left? and you said, okay, here is my dream and I want to go chase it. How has that journey been so far? Yeah, I mean, I, I always knew what I wanted to do. Um, there was, you know, there was always some skeptics because racing as a, as a sport was relatively unknown at the time. Yeah, I mean, I finished my last uh, board exam here in Sushia in um, 2001 and left nine days later for the Philippines and have been racing internationally ever since. Apart from your family who of course was supportive because you're from a family of racers, school was yeah. supportive as well and, and how yeah. much do you think that is important for any kid who wants to pursue a career in sports now? The sport as a career option in our country is still a, a relatively nascent concept, um, not just motorsport but I'm saying sport in general. You know you look at people from other parts of the world, guys like Jensen Button and, and Michael Schumacher and stuff, they didn't even finish their uh, a levels, but they've gone on to be world champions. You know, I look at the big picture, and as long as you're able to earn a living out of it and be passionate about what you do, whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, or a golfer, or a racing driver. Motorsports in itself is something that is uh, concentrated in a place like a Chennai or a Bangalore. How do you make it a little more, um, you know, spread it and take it yeah. to the rest of the cities? Geographically, we're a much bigger country than. Uh, England or, or Italy or Germany, for example, you know, I think people forget the fact that how um, how big we are in terms of size. In some ways, we have to take the sport to the people. Yeah. You know, so now I think with De with the track in Delhi, I think it'll be better because you know from the from the north now it's easier for people to access the sport. Uh, I think go karting is the way forward. We need to take kart tracks around the country and get these kids that we're seeing around us today interested in karting and yeah. and get them. And also we need to f create 
scholarship programs and funding programs that they, they don't have to go through the battles that Narain and I did. Have any of the other drivers on the you know on the circuit asked you about it? Are they excited oh, about yeah, coming yeah. to India? No, a lot of them. I think a lot of them are quite excited to come here on um, you know a for the race weekend. B, a lot of them have never been to India, so yeah. I've, I've turned into like the, the tourism board of Formula <laughs> One. Honestly, ev every... You want to be a tour guide for oh, any of them? No, no, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Every weekend I get some guys saying, hey, listen, I heard about this place called Jaipur. Do you think we should go there? Some yeah. guys say, I want to go to Kerala. Someone wants to go to Goa. Someone wants to go to the Rishikesh. And I say to these guys, you know, you need to spend a week at least. Go see two cities, you know. Yeah. Don't just come for the race and go back. So yes, that's like a little trip that uh, Karun's planned for the rest um, of the F1 drivers. Meanwhile, what we will do is we will take a trip of our own. That is a trip we're going to make to school and find out what the teachers and the students of the school say or remember about Karun. I predicted five years, not five years ago. How many years do I got? Eleven now. Eleven years. Oh, okay. I made announcement in the assembly right. that uh, Karan Chandok will become F1 racer in ten years time. Now. You know, I like every theory that she had. Yeah. I argued with her. Okay. To the point of which one day she threw her books on the table and says, Karun Chandogi, you could start the class yourself if you're going to argue <laughs> with me so much. Okay. Till September, he was um, preparing for his car racing. Right. And then after that, he promised me that he would do very well in his academics. I used to be, I mean, in jitters, you know, I used to wonder how he would do his board examination. Because he was so concentrating so much on his right. car racing. But he used to assure me that he would do very well and he did extremely well. How much did you get, Karun? 90, 90, 90 or something. I think 95. He got 95. I remember. He got a 95. In fact, I quote him as an example in the class, even today. I tell them, you know, they can actually strike a balance between academics and extracurricular activities. And my example is always Karan Chand. My last year in school, I compared the evening, I remember that. But I remember um, I was to suffer in a suit while <laughs> melting, while all my, no, while all my no, friends came. You were looking so dapper in your suit. And I all didn't all feel very dapper at all. Happy to see Karun? Yes. Okay, now I'll tell you what. Now what I've learned is uh, he's really good, you know, with his technical knowledge. Everything and anything about cars, you ask him, he'll tell you the answers, which is why on the F1 circuit, apparently they call him Karunpedia. Okay, so now I hope you guys have some questions and Karunpedia, let's see if he can answer them. So you have some tough questions? You've promised some tough ones. Tough ones? Tough questions? Yes. Okay, who wants to ask the first question? You do? Okay. I hope it's a tough one. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, hi, it's Ambreen. Um, what made you choose racing as your profession since it's not really a stable career in India? I think um, for me, my family was always in racing and uh, I suppose you can in some way say it's our family business. <laughs> it's quite strange today. I always grew up knowing I wanted to be a racing driver. I think you're right in saying today it's still uh, you know, it's, it's still a risky career. It's still one that's not a, a fully feasible career for a lot of people. Um, but now I'm, I'm working with a lot of people to, to make that better, you know. Did you ever fail in an exam? Lots. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, my mother used to call it the big four to, from about sixth standard to tenth, which was always chemistry, history, Hindi. And there was always one more, which was always a bit 50-50. Um, my report cards always said, can do better, doesn't work to his full potential, talks too much in class, distracts the other students in class. Which is your favorite F1 circuit? I love Monaco. You know, a sport like Formula One or, or any sport, I think you need an element of danger. I think Monaco, because the walls are close and you see, when you see an accident, okay, you know, you don't want to see people get hurt, but there's consequences. So, and I think as a driver, that's the ultimate challenge. Monaco, by the way, is where he had his crash last year, so we're all glad that you're safe, actually. It wasn't my fault, though. <laughs> I'd like to point out. <laughs> all right, you have a question. Go ahead. 
what music would you listen to <laughs> oh whatever you know i think when you, when you're driving to be honest i'm not a uh, i'll play whatever's on the radio we heard bon jovi is a favorite bon jovi is a favorite i'd okay, like to so go front row at a concert <laughs> but you know <laughs> okay so no you didn't speak in hindi now you have to oblige us by you know try and sing bon jovi maybe <laughs> not a chance come on see come on you guys want to hear him sing right come on karun go for song no <laughs> No, I uh, singing is not my thing. I'm telling you. I joined the school choir only so I could come late to assembly, <laughs> basically. Hi, Colin. Hi. Uh, were you ever intimidated by the likes of Schumacher, Alonso, Hamilton, any of them? Um, I, I was always, uh, and I am even today, enormously respectful of them. Uh, you know, Michael um, was one of the first few drivers who came and shook my hand and said, "Welcome to F1." And uh, how do you feel when the national anthem was played when you won the race? It's. Uh, pretty special um i mean it, it, to be honest it's probably the highlight of my career was like when i first won in in belgium in spa and gp2 is the first time they played the indian national anthem on a on a formula 1 weekend that, that was that was pretty special um so yeah i'd like to have that that feeling again i have to say what was the naughtiest thing you did in school i think i drove the my car onto the field once and started doing donuts the principal used to stay upstairs in that room over there and they all came down and it was a fairly unpleasant conversation <laughs> for that did you have a crush in school not really i don't think no <laughs> no sure yeah i'm still friends with doesn't all these people like so uh, no he's not convinced he's saying it doesn't look like it no no it was fairly boring that way i think what are the school teams like were you on any of the school teams as i said i used to be 96 kilos so no <laughs> so you didn't qualify at all <laughs> no i would do all these uh, i'm telling you i'm really you know i used to argue with the teachers argue with everybody so i'd end up on things like debate and stuff you know okay. where you can just shout aloud there's a little fan here he has a question what is the low uh, what is the highest you've driven in chennai speed limit in the city is 40 kilometers an hour so i would say 42 <laughs> don't lie they say <laughs> don't Speed limit on the highway is generally 80, so 85. Guys, how old are you all now? 15, 60, 12, 13. Okay, a few years to go still. But um, it's a campaign that I started last year, which is uh, you know race on the track, drive on the roads. I mean, I understand everyone wants to drive fast. You you should do it at a race track. It's a it's an incredible sport. Um, but I think it's it's something that you need to do in a on a race track or a go kart track. What is the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you? Oof, lots of little things, but <laughs> uh, I think in um, I was in Delhi and there was, we had this big press thing we were doing, and uh, for some reason I don't know why, but we were doing it at a bowling alley, and I, you know, so I'm there and there's all these cameras and I pick up this bowling ball and I go, and the first time I had to sort of send the ball down the alley, I slipped and fell and landed on my backside in front of all these cameras. and uh that was fairly embarrassing <laughs> who's your best friend on the f1 circuit uh probably my teammate from last year bruno senna he's a bit mad and a bit brazilian and i'm a bit boring for him but he's trying to to drag me out as well you planning on getting married soon not soon uh, some day but uh right now i'm too maybe too focused on the job at hand i'm not uh, it's funny i came here and three of the teachers that was the first question is are you married yet why aren't you married yet that's the first question they asked me like hello ma'am nice to see you too <laughs> guys thank you so much hope you guys had fun spend some time with you in school karun which was fine but i would imagine this is a place that you're more familiar with not not quite a formula 1 race track of course but just tell us uh, where we are and what are we going to do well we're at um, a local car track in madras uh, called car track uh, owned by a friend of mine actually yeah. and um, you know we've got i think there's some kids here who've come straight from school uh, i think some of them may have even bunk school today <laughs> but okay. um, to have a little bit of fun with some carts right So yeah, we got a bunch of them. Okay. Are you all uh, Are you guys ready to learn, get some tips? Yeah. Okay, let's get rolling. If you're turning right, you lean that way. 
you're like looking like that and going, because you should be leaning this way. You got it. So when you lean this way, it lifts the wheel. When you press both together, it's not actually helping. All you're doing is burning the clutch. What do you think, Karun? How's it going? Some of them are quite not the other one. He doesn't look like he's strong enough. <laughs> Look at his little hands. He's trying to turn the wheel. He's struggling a little bit. Yeah. But uh, I mean, some of these kids are a bit older. Yeah. I think, like, he's, he's like, oh, she's actually driving quite well. I think. Uh, but uh, you know, at the end of this is where they got to come and. We gotta make it affordable. Yeah. We gotta make karting affordable, and they need to come here. They need to spin. They need to crash. Yeah. That's what they need to learn. You yeah, know? that's how you learn too. But when I started off, when Narin started off, we never had car tracks. Right. You know, we I we used to run a car workshop, and uh, I used to park the customers' cars at an angle to make a track. Oh. Okay. And I used to drive my go kart between the cars. I believe karting. I believe national racing. Um, you know, I believe this is the way to get people into the sport, come here, get a feel, and catch the bus. So those kids out there, of course, got a chance to learn from the best. Uh, Karun, for you, how was your day out? First at school and then here with children who most of them are from school. It's nice. It's nice to get a little break from the mad world of F1. And yeah. I mean, it's nice to hang out with these young kids. They, they're still at an age where they're, uh, they haven't got preconceived ideas and, and, and thoughts about F1 and, and the crazy world that we live in. Sure. There's so much enthusiasm for F1 in our country. And I think if we can start to harness that and, and just get people more uh, you know, more involved in the sport, either participating or watching. Um, I feel as an ambassador for the sport, I sort of done my job. Thank you so much and all the best for the Indian Grand Prix. So that was Karan Chandok. Hope you enjoyed watching this episode of School Connect. Remember, this is NDTV and Nirmal Lifestyles Mark for Sports. Next time, School Connect will travel to another city. Till then, thank you so much for watching.